Welcome to my channel, Drink, Wine, Be Crafty. I'm Megan, and today I'm excited because I'm going to do my very first macrame project. I have been getting really into macrame. It's kind of, I found a new love, a new, a new craft, and I have really, really been getting into trying some new things. And um, the project that I'm going to do today, if you have never done macrame, this is a great beginner project because you're only going to need to do one knot a lot of times and it's probably one of the easiest knots that you could do so i'm going to show you guys how i made this wreath with the spiral knots um you don't need a lot of supplies you only need a wire i bought mine at dollar tree the one that i'm going to give you this one's smaller actually than the one i used the one I'm going to give you measurements for, this one is 15 inch. So if you get one that's smaller, you can you won't need as much rope. But for mine, you're going to need four individual strands of rope. I'm using Hildy and Joe. It's a it's the only macrame rope that's a little bit thicker at the Joann's, at least at my location. It's three millimeter, it's 50 yards, one of these will you could do the whole project because I opened this one for this project and I still have a little bit left so it you'll need and the way that I measure my rope is instead of using a measuring tape to measure the rope I have found out how long my arm span is which for me it's 60 inches so I did that seven times which ends up being 420 inches of rope so what you would just do is take the rope let me get it unwound so to get your measurements all i do is i take my rope hold it out and pinch it with my finger and do it seven times until i get all of my rope so you'll need two of them that are 420 and then for the for the smaller sections, I only did six um, arm spans, so that would be 360 inches, 60, 60, six times, 360, I think. <laughs> so for this project, a Dollar Tree hang um, wreath, and then the rope, I, use, I always use a coupon with Joanne, so you could get the rope for like three bucks and some change if you use a coupon if not it's like eight bucks for the rope and then of course some wine um i went to a store i've never gone to today and i came across a very inexpensive bottle of wine called cave and cove vineyard um, they only had cabernet or i think they had a moscato which i usually go i don't really get the sweet ones as often $3.99 for this bottle and I mean for the price it's not it's not bad it's not but you get what you pay for so if you want to try something in inexpensive Cave and Cove is pretty good I like some of my other ones that I've gotten a little bit better but it was good for a try so yeah other than that we're gonna go step by step I'm gonna show you first how to do the knot um, I'm gonna make sure you get that down because basically that's all you're gonna do over and over. And then I'll show you how to, to finish the project and how to, to you know add more rope and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, with the, I took the flowers off. I actually had some flowers and leaves that I'm gonna show you guys at the end. Um, but you can really finish this with anything, any type of flower and anything you want. Wanted to give you a closer view. It is the spiral knot for macrame. Now, how you would typically do this is a little bit different with this project because you, because I'm tying it around the frame. So I'm gonna just share, there's so many tutorials on how to do these knots out there, just the basic knots that I think I'm just gonna share the video that I liked whenever I first started getting into macrame. Um, it's, it's really clear and instead of giving you guys that run through, I'll just, up below I will share a link to a really good video that shows you all the basic knots, but I am gonna show you how to do this knot um, around 
this frame, which again is a little bit different than you would do it with a typical macrame project. So I'm going to, I said that the, the, the uh, frame that you're going to need, the, I bought this one at the Dollar Tree. I said it was 15 inches, but this, it says 14 inches. First thing you need to do is get your first piece of rope and put the ends, actually, no, I'm sorry. First piece of rope and put the ends on each side because we want it to wrap around and then pull it all the way to where the center is on the wreath frame okay so to do this knot you're going to take this side and you're going to kind of make like a it's easy i guess if you make a four sorry kind of like this where this rope is going over and you're going to take this side and you're going to go over the top of this rope here so it should look like this and once you're here you take this piece and you go under the frame and through the hole and you just kind of pinch right here so you're holding this where it doesn't move and you just pull the rope all the way through and then grab each side and pull it tight and that is literally all you do through this whole entire project is you keep doing the same thing so I'm going to show you I'm going to go through it several times in slow-mo here. So we're going to go over the top. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to make this piece go over the top of this one. This one's over the frame. And then we're going to go under the frame and through the hole. And pinch and pull. And when you keep doing this same thing, and just pull it as tight as you can... When you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it gives the spiral effect. Okay, we're gonna take this one and we're gonna pull it through. Now, honestly, while I was doing this project, I was sitting, just sitting on the couch and it gets a little tricky and I'm gonna show you whenever it's, whenever you're doing this first part, you can turn this see it moves but once we hit this part and we're going forward it doesn't turn all the way around like that so you do have to turn the the frame around and kind of maneuver it a little bit to get it how you want it so we're gonna rope over I'm gonna lay it down flat and make sure you guys so you do this one this way take this one Put it over the top of that, under and through. And just keep doing that. And I Once you're, it kind of gets to a place where you're, you have to be able to maneuver this thing in the right direction to kind of get the knots right. You have to flip it over. Um, I actually was sitting on the couch and I would hold it upright kind of standing like up and I was holding on to it with my knees while I would do some of the more uh, awkward areas whenever you're getting you have to kind of turn it around and so just figuring out what's comfortable for you to get it how you want it but that's all you do the whole project is do the same knot and see this part right here it gets a little awkward so you just pull in the rope through and then now we'll flip back over to this side now if you accidentally do cut your rope too small and you don't make it all the way around it's okay to add more rope or if you would prefer to do the rope where it's a little bit shorter because whenever it's really long it can be kind of a pain to pull super long rope through like this you can you would just want to hide the the ends 
So once we get here, there's like a little gap. I actually just push it up a little bit and then I do one more when I get to the ends where it just has a little space. And then pull it tight and then I stretch it back out to where it's touching. So we have this little ridge here. You wanna go over the top and just keep going to get to the other side and then you'll do the same thing always adding your rope in the same place so that way you'll have all your your ends on the same spot because once we get to the end the flowers are going to really cover up we don't have to worry about doing a lot of hiding because the flowers are going to cover up the the rope but just putting another piece on the same way doing your second piece of rope and remember these two I did 420 inches and these two I do 360 inches of rope so doing the same thing to add on another piece here and then keep going guys that's all you have to do and then I will show you once you have gotten to the end. Let me get my other one and I'm going to show you. So I've gotten to the end of all of my, I've gone around one. And you can see this, the other ones you can see. And I honestly, I thought about maybe even you could paint this. If you really, that bothers you and you want that to not show, you could paint the, um, the frame just a cream color and it really wouldn't show up. That would be a good way to hide that, just with some spray paint. But I definitely don't want this, whether it was painted or not, I still wouldn't want this just line showing up. So what you want to do is when you go all the way around, you want to do one more knot on this side so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just push down these sides to where you can have more space and then for this one it's a little bit shorter than the rest but it'll still work just go under the bar here and do the do just do another knot there so that way when you tighten it it covers up the bar and then you can just push everything back together and do the same thing for the rest of them always go underneath it so that way whenever you tie your knot it covers it at least the majority of it and it does get a little bit of a tight fit whenever you see it goes over the bar that way it isn't so visible so we're going to go under the bar here sorry if it's a little confusing with all my rope that I have going on here And then once I get, once all of these are finished, all I am doing for to completely be finished with all my knots is on the back because, I mean, obviously you're not going to see this part. It's going to be against a wall or hanging somewhere where it won't be seen. I'm just tying an extra knot really tight and then clipping off the excess rope. Just get the, you could do one or two knots. I mean, these knots are so tight. I highly doubt they are going anywhere. So just getting each piece and just doing a simple knot and pulling it really tight. Because once we finish, we are going to cover it up with some pretty flowers.
Okay. Now, all you need to do is clip off the excess. So just trim it off. I'm sure, I mean, you could sew it in and maybe weed it in a little bit so it doesn't show, but like I said, I'm covering mine up with flowers, so I am not worried about it being super covered up right there. Now... I had some of these leaves, had a few, I have lots of just random flowers that I have used for things and I thought that this just was an awesome touch to have just gluing these in and it's so simple. to add an extra touch to this whenever you're finished. And then I had three of these flowers on this side. And just playing with it until you get it how you want it to look is all it takes. Where's my other one? Oh, there it is. So, and of course, you're gonna need a little dab of hot glue for it to stay in place. I'm just doing this real quick to show you guys how simple it is to just add a little extra touch to your work. And we are done. There's the little extra touch there. Let me get it in full screen. I mean, sorry, my kids have tons of glue and crayons right here, so we've we're always crafting, but that's, it is such a pretty, I think it turned out super cool and it looks like it would be extremely complicated, but it's such an easy project and a perfect way to start trying out macrame. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this was clear. This is my first time doing a macrame project, so if for any reason this didn't make sense or was not clear, please give me feedback. I need all the feedback I can get, but I hope that you enjoyed it and definitely come back. I think I'm going to do a nice big macrame project for my giveaway. You guys know I love a giveaway, so hopefully I'll have that planned. So there will be a giveaway soon, so check back with me. I'll figure out what my giveaway item is going to be, and we'll be doing that in the very near future. All right, well, remember guys to subscribe so you can see more of my crafts and I will see you next time.